In good health today, he's a little boy who's been fighting a big battle against cancer. But he's found support from an unexpected place, from humans and canines alike. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the inspiring story of Stephen Strong. That's right, Karen and Jason. Yeah, you know, his many fans dubbed him Stephen Strong, and we've been following his fight against neuroblastoma for the past two years. Stephen has endured countless treatments, procedures, and two bone marrow transplants. But he's had a powerful team backing him up all along the way. What can you do better than us? Ah, uh, snake. A canine training session may seem like a strange place for a six-year-old. I, I bet he remembers where it was last time. But Stephen Hohauser is perfectly at home. It's definitely not on the computer. By his side, oh, Deputy I Bob Loken, a master trainer for the Oakland County Sheriff's Canine Unit. I think it's over there somewhere. Loken is used to working in difficult and dangerous no. conditions, but the mere mention of Stephen brings him to tears. You know, if we could, we'd take that cancer out of him and put it on us. In a heartbeat, you know. Loken's wife is a nurse at Children's Hospital. When she discovered Stephen loved canines, he started showing pictures of my police canine. Okay. And then uh, he really liked it. They got an idea. Ask all the canine brothers and sisters out there to step up and, you know, and make this kid smile. So with that, it just took a matter of a uh, like day, two days, and it was just spread throughout the throughout the country. The close-knit canine community immediately began sharing photos of their dogs on the Stephen Strong Facebook page. There you go, good job. Two years later, they haven't stopped. Stephen, his big sister Angela, and their mom Mariana have become part of the canine officer family. Oh, I couldn't have done this without them. When I say this is what he lives for, this is this is the stuff that he lives for, hanging out with these guys and you know, running their dogs with them and just being one of the guys. Like, they don't treat them any different. You know, we love them just like our own kids, you know. So, and our dogs love them too. And the feeling is mutual. They're awesome. Like, they just, like, help me out and they stay right next to my side. For all of their training, it's Stephen who has taught these deputies the ultimate lesson. Anybody can make excuses why life's tough, and he's really taught us that what so-called problems are out there, not problems, you know. This is what life's about here. So we just tell them, hey, you know, Stephen Strong, stay strong, and we're with you, buddy, all the way. No matter what you're going through, we're there. Now, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department recently got a new canine from the Netherlands, and they named him Sterk, which is the Dutch word for strong. Also, a quick thanks to Oakland Community College for letting us tag along for this story. Yeah. Boy, it really is obvious how much he means to those guys. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else the rest of us can do to help with Stephen's fight? Well, you know, the main thing is we can all donate blood. That's something very simple. Stephen has needed multiple blood transfusions during his treatment, as many cancer patients do. And in fact, we have teamed up with Gardner White and the Red Cross for blood drives be being held tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 7.45 p.m. at the Gardner White stores in Auburn Hills, Macomb Township, Canton, Taylor, Warren, Waterford, and Novi, and from 11.30 a.m. until 7.15 at the Brighton store. And you can find all of those details on the health page at clickondetroit.com. Great story, Doc. Yeah. Appreciate it. Really sweet people.